Hello! Here's a look at some of the powerful features built into every task in, a, in Kanbanderay.com. Here you can see I'm adding a task by clicking on the Add a New Task button, and I'm going to give it the title Something I Want. This is off the screen right now. Sorry about that. It's in the pop-up window. And so I'll just add that, but now, we, now you can see it. And from now on, we can work on the task inside this view. I have absolutely all the features turned on. If you want fewer features, any of these things can be turned off if you don't use them. So let's say this is a chore, not a story. And I want it to be done by Paul. It's a very high priority, so I'll give it two stars. I'll set the estimate at eight story points. You can change these values. Sometimes I like to use estimates like small, medium, large, um, or elephant, horse, dog, whatever you want works. Um, then you can expand it, and here we can add a description. I really, really want. It supports comments. I mean, right now. And it has comments, and the comments appear here with the icon of the person who added the comment. On a mouse over, you can see the name of the person if you can't uh, recognize their icon. It can have subtasks, so we can say, do this first, then do this. And when one of those is done, it can be checked off, and it's logged as being completed in the project log. You can upload attachments. Let's see. What have I got? Um, I'm going to upload an attachment, which is a... What kind of file should I upload? I'll upload a file, which is a text file. This is our terms of service. And I'll add another one, and this one is an image file. And you can see that when I upload an image file, it's displayed as a thumbnail. If you use an outside issue tracking system, you can cut, copy and paste the URLs of some bug that's related to this story. Say, um, bugbase.com slash issue number. Um, so you can just cut it, copy and paste it out of your normal issue tracking system. And in that way, you can keep a running tally of any bugs that are associated with this if you don't want to use Kanbanary for bug tracking, and check them off as they're finished. And then, of course, the history is where we display any, any, any movement of the task from one column to another. So you can see exactly when it moved from new to in progress and from in progress to done. And in that way, you can see where it sat for a long time. You can, you can calculate the cycle time and lead time of an individual task. So as you can see, in addition to being able to add all of this additional information to a particular task, we can also open up a specific thing. So like by clicking on comments, I can see when this is closed, that there's one comment. I can click on it and see it. I can minimize any of these subsections if it's too much information. So if I like to keep them minimized, but if I click on comments, you'll see that the comments opens up as expanded so I can see it. Or if I see that there's two subtasks, so I click on the subtask icon, I can see the subtasks expanded, and I can shrink them as well. And the same is true for file attachments, bugs. If I want to follow this task and get email notifications whenever somebody makes a change to this task, I can follow or unfollow, and this will send me an email whenever anything happens to this task. I can also add a blocker to it. So let's say, for example, that there's an, I'm creating a new blocker task. And there it is. So now we can see that this chore, something I want, is blocked by a task I don't have money. And if you can't find that, of course you can't here, but on a crowded board it could be more difficult, then you just click on it and the focus changes to the I have money task, which flashes yellow to help you see exactly what, which task you're looking for. You can resolve the block with a single click if, for example, the I have money task is now gone. 
So that's just an overview of all of the powerful tools built into each and every task card on your Kanban board in Kanbanary.com. I hope you found that useful. Thanks and bye.